Welcome, Luis. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Okay. We're going to start with the class. And uh, I will show you, right, the PowerPoint presentation. The PowerPoint presentation, right? Luis Canal. Good. Mauricio Perez and Dinora, welcome. Mauricio Perez here, right? Okay, now I'm going to start to share the PowerPoint presentation. You see here, yes. No, here is the one. Okay, pre-intermediate, right? Today, what are we going to see today? Listen, number one, hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Good evening, thank you. Larissa, Abby, welcome. Dinora, welcome. Es que por unos segundos me, se me fue la señal. Okay. Milésimas de segundo, pero aquí estamos. Ok. Now let's continue. Vamos a seguir presentando el PowerPoint. Let me see. Ok. Here, right. Give me a second. Ok. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let's continue. Conversation. I really like pop music. Pop, pop, pop music, right? And we're going to see a video. The name is Yes, No, and WH question with do. With the simple present, right? Okay. October 5th. October, no October fest. That's something different. It's October fifth, right? Okay. Now, uh, to begin, we're going to learn the about the lesson objective, right? Uh, Larissa, can you read the objective for me, please, for the class? Okay. Okay, teacher. Forty zero lesson objective is the lesson participant will listen to a conversation expressing like and dislike it. Dislike it. Very good, dislike. And dislike. Okay, thank you. Now in the conversation, we're going to learn, right? About things that you like, cling, and things that you don't like, dislike. And so again, likes, cling, and dislikes. And Right? So now we're going to see this vocabulary in the conversation. Listen, please. Kind, boys, big fan, guess, and a lot. Come on, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Kind, boys, big fan. Guess a lot. Good. Do you have questions about these words? Do you have questions about vocabulary class? Teacher, puede repetir la segunda, por favor. Second one. Boys. Boys. Okay. Dinora, repeat it, please. You repeat. Come on. Boys. Boys. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now. Very good. Any other question? No questions? Uh, teacher, what yes. is guess? What is guess? Adivine? That is the meaning, right? Adivine. 
Ah, adivina. Sí, sí, es adivine, ¿verdad? Adivino, adivines, adivinamos, sorry. Ok, good. Any other question? Guess is adivinar o suponer, right? Ok. Good. No more question? No, let's continue, so. Let's continue. Yeah. Uh, Sorry? Sure. Yes, yes. Uh, kind. Kind. Uh, means category. Category. Category, right? Kind, for example, what kind of movies do you like, right? What kind of movies do you like? What category? Do you like horror movies? Boo. Uh, do you like action movies? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, do you like uh, comedy? <laughs> comedy movies? So, kind is category. Or music, for example, we're talking about music, pop music, rock music, salsa music, reggaeton. No, reggaeton. No. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Se refiere a, cual, a cualquiera, a cualquiera. Solo yeah. música o solo cualquiera. Music, kind. movies, eh, food. What kind of food do you like? So, right? Understand? What kind of Salvadorian food? Salvadorian food. Mexican food. Okay, French food. So categories. Kind is categories. Understand? In food, yes. in movies, in music, colors, in colors, huh? etc. etc. Right? Uh I have a message over here. Mauricio, say hello to everybody. Mauricio nos está saludando a todos. Welcome, Mauricio. Okay, now, let's go to the other part. Let me see here. Okay, now let's go to the grammar, right? Lesson objective. And who's going to read for me? Luis, please, can you help me, Luis? Can you read the objective for the class? Okay. Uh... By the end of this class, lesson participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does, along with double H question words. Okay, thank you very much. So in this case, we're going to we're going to practice the, the question, the two categories of question, yes, no question, and information question, right? Okay, now uh, for the question over there, uh, someone was asking me for the pronunciation of one word. So, voy a regresar porque aquí tengo una preguntita. Boys, right? Uh, boys, the sound is with z, z, boys, boys, right? Y boys, the muchachos, the chicos, right? Is with s, boys. Hmm? Boys, boys. Exaggeration, listen, exaggeration. Boys, boys, right? Boys, y chicos, boys. Okay, hay una canción bien viejita que dice boys, boys, boys. Okay, o oh, bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. Okay, boys with S. That is the difference. Boys, boys. Okay, now let's continue. Ya contestamos la pregunta por ahí. Queda todo claro. Okay, so let's continue, right? Now, uh, yes, no question, and W is question. What is the difference between yes, no question? Look, are you a student? Let me ask Dinora, right? Uh, Dinora, usted me hizo la pregunta, ¿verdad, Dinora? De la pronunciación. Sí. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? ¿O sí le queda claro, Dinora? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Una es con, con Z, ¿verdad? Digamos. Y la otra es con S, right? Boys, boys. Okay, Dinora, please. Uh, I will ask you the question. Are you a student? Eh, que repita. O... No, no, no. You answer. Ah, que, que responda. Yes or no, right? Are you a student, Dinora? Eh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Look, yes, I am. So, yes or no, right? Rocío. Mm -hmm. Can you speak English, Rocio? I'm a little lost. Okay, no, no, listen. You have to say, listen, Rocio, you have to say, or yes, 
or no. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, now again, can you speak English, Rocio? No, I don't. No, no, okay. Sorry, Rocio, incorrect. Number one, you can speak English. No full English, but you speak English. You understand, right? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> A little, but you speak English. So when someone say, Rocio, do you, can you speak English? You say, yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> understand? Now again. Okay. Rocio, can you speak English? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Or yes, I, I do. Can. No, 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 no. Yes, Look. I do. Look. Are you a student? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Ah, can uh, yes, you? Yes, I am. No, no. Can you speak? Can, can, can you speak English? Rocio? Yes, I can. Excellent. Very <laughs> good. Yes, I can, right? Like if someone says, are you a student? Yes, I do. Yes, I can. No, no. Yes, I am. Can you speak? Can you speak French? Yes, I can or no, I can, right? No. Next one. Let me see. Um, Next, Mauricio, Mauricio Larcón. Yes, teacher. Next question for you, Mauricio. Uh, do you live in San Salvador? Oh, San, 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 San Salvador. Okay, do you live in San Salvador, Mauricio? Yes, I am. Mm, do, do, do you? Uh, yes, do you I do. The... Excellent. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Or negative, right? Are you a student? No, I'm not. Can you speak English? No, I can't. Do you live in San Salvador? No, I don't. So depending on the question, are, can, do. Also, you can say, should, uh, should you go to the doctor? Yes, I should. Or no, I shouldn't, right? It depends on the auxiliary or the model. Depending on the auxiliary or the model that we are using, we will respond. Okay? But listen, the point here is that you have to answer or yes or no. Or yes or no. Understand? Simple like that. Okay, let's continue. Information question. Where is my pencil? Okay, now, Veronica, Veronica Lopez. Welcome, Veronica. Welcome. Now listen. Where is my pencil, Veronica? Where is my pencil? Mm -hmm. um, this is. This is my pencil. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, I will give you one example. Ah, right? uh, okay, okay. Where is my cell phone? Where is my cell phone? My cell phone is on the table. My cell phone is on the table. Where is my pencil? Mm -hmm. Where is my pencil? This. Your pencil this is. is my... Your pencil is. Your pencil is uh -huh. on the table. Excellent. The pencil is on the table, right? Your pencil is on the, on the. Listen. When I make when I made the question to. To Rosie, to Veronica, sorry. Uh, I I asked her, right? Where is my pencil? And she didn't say, yes, I am, yes, I can, yes, I do. No, no, no. Veronica said, my, your pencil is on the table, right? So in this case, is specific information. Okay? Now let's continue. Okay. Special, right? Thank you, Veronica. Thank you. Now, uh, Christina, what can you do, Christina? Um, I can I can play tennis. Excellent. I can play tennis, right? So why? Because we're using can, right? And when I say, Christina, what can you do? Uh, Christina didn't say, uh, no, I, I am not. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> no, no, right? No. Because in yes, no question, okay, we say yes or no, but in information, we give the specific information. In this case, I'm asking, let's say, let's say what can you do? And she said, I can play tennis, right? Now, the next one, Marvin, Marvin Benitez, please. Hello, Hello, Marvin. Okay, Marvin, 
When can you come, Martin? When can you come? What is the meaning come? Venir. Spanish. Venir. Venir, uh -huh. Yes. Re se recuerda una canción de Nirvana que dice, come as you are. Uh -huh. Okay, come, venir. When can you come, Marvin? Uh, I can. Uh -huh. I can come. Uh, in the Saturday. On Saturday. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Um, uh, Congratulations. When can you come? I can come on Saturday, say Marvin. Okay. Uh, on, okay. Ah, uh, on. Uh -huh. Yes, on Saturday. Right? Um, Remember the the days of the week on on uh, Saturday, on, on Monday, on Monday. Saturday, and months, the meses in April, in October, in December. Uh, yes. Okay, teach. okay, good. So learn commercial. Okay, now, do you understand the difference between yes and information question? Class, este es para todos. Do you understand the difference between? Yes, no question, and information question? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, information, also we can say WH question. También este tipo de preguntas se le llaman WH. ¿Por qué? Porque todas las palabras llevan WH, WH, WH. Okay? Good. Now, we're going to go to one specific uh, Form, right? Yes, no question with do. Okay, now we're going to focus only with do. De aquí en adelante, todas las preguntas que vamos a estudiar, todas llevan do. Ya olvidémonos del can, del was, del where, del, del is, del am. Okay, ahora solo do and that, right? But to begin, we're going to uh, see when do you use the auxiliary. We use the auxiliary do with I, you, we, and they, right? And we use that with he, she, and it. And remember when do we use the auxiliary? Oh, other question. Do we use auxiliaries in Spanish? Some auxiliaries in Spanish? No, right? In Spanish, no. In Spanish, no. Only in English, right? Now, we use the auxiliary do or does in the simple present, right? Solo en oraciones de presente simple vamos a usar el do y el das. Teacher en el pasado, no, no, no. En el futuro, no, no. En el presente continuo, no, tampoco. No. Only in the simple present, right? Just the simple present, okay? Good. And we use do with I, you, we, and they, and we use that with he, she, and it, right? Always. Now, can we use do and does in affirmative? Yes or no? Hoy vamos a hacer una pregunta específica. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Can Hi, teacher. Use... Hi. Listen, can we use do and does in affirmative sentences? Y en oraciones afirmativas podemos usar el auxiliar do y does. Yes or no? Yes. Mm. Por ejemplo, Teacher. usted dice, yes. Para ahí tengo otra pregunta, no. ¿Puedo responder? Ah, yes, yes. Écheme la mano ahí a Jennifer. Ajá, yes. Eh, no se puede responder con do, eh, sino que con don't y doesn't. Ah, ok. Cuando Good. es negativo. Negativo, right? Quiere decir, entonces, Luis y Jennifer... Que el do y el das solo vamos a usar en negativos, right? En Josabet, ¿en qué otro, en qué otra forma podemos usar el, el auxiliar, Josabet? Ya dijimos que en afirmativo no, en negativo sí. Now, Josabet, in what other we can use the, the question, the, 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 the do and the das? Mm, I am not remember. You don't remember. Okay. Es que una pregunta difícil. Yo sé, no te preocupes. Marvin nos va a ayudar ahí. Marvin Lue. Ladies and gentlemen, te escucha tan cinco, right? Marvin. We can use do and does with questions. Excellent. Very good. In questions and in negative statement, right? In affirmative, no. Don't use the auxiliary, okay? Good. Now, 
because we are working with information and yes, no question, we are going to use the do and that, right? Okay, now, ahora sí vamos a la carnita de la clase, right? Yes, no questions. We use the auxiliary to or does, the subject, the verb, and the complement, right? For example, do you like pizza? Mm, delicious, right? So the auxiliary do, remember, is with you, right? We don't say, that's you, no. And no, that's you, no, it's do you. And then the verb like. In the complaint, there could be whatever, right? Do you like? Now she, because she, we use that for she, right? Does she live in Metapan? Now remember, class, that uh, when we use he, she, or it, we add an extra S to the verb, right? Le agregamos una, una S extra al verbo. Now, let me see. Um, Adi. Why we didn't ask uh, uh, the S to the verb leave? Porque aquí el verbo leave no le hemos puesto una S, Abby. Why? Because mm -hmm. uh, you use a uh, just. Excellent. Because I'm using the auxiliary. Thank you, Abby. We are using the auxiliary. Yes. And when we use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to say that she lives. Yes. No, no, right? Only that she lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Abby. Thank you very much. Let's continue now. These are the yes, no question. And remember, we answer, do you like it? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does she live in Metama? Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't, right? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, okay? Good, now information question. Uh -huh. WH question word, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? Okay, give me a second. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> where? Where indicates place, location, right? Auxiliary do. Why do? Because we're using the, the subject they. And then the verb go. And the complement could, could be whatever, right? On weekends, etc., etc., right? Good. It's similar. Look. The only difference is that here we use where, right? Huh? That's the only difference. Now, what does he like? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta el comer? Right? What does he like to eat? What does he like to eat? Again, we don't say likes because we are using the auxiliary does, right? Okay. Good. So... It means that in questions and in negative statement, we never add the S, right? Para terminar este, este comercial, de la S en el verbo, quiero decirles que solo en afirmativa, en oración afirmativa, vamos a hacer eso. En negative, en question, never, right? Nunca lo hacemos porque siempre vamos a usar el auxiliar, okay? Good. Now, notice that I use where do they go on weekends and what does he like to eat? The answer is, Yes or no, right? Estoy equivocado o estoy en lo cierto? The answer for information question is yes or no? False. False, right? And for the teacher, and no, right? Incorrect, right? Because you answer, listen, you answer specific information. Hmm? Where, a donde, what, qué? So in this case, where do they go on weekend? Uh, they go to the beach. They go to the supermarket. What does he like to eat? He likes to eat, uh, mm, let me say, like crabs. He likes to eat crabs. Okay? So what does he like to eat? And then you don't, you don't say, he, uh, yes, he does or no, he doesn't, right? No, specific information, right? Good. Any question? Any questions so far? No. Teacher, no, sí. teacher. Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Question, question. Yeah. Luis. ¿Puedes repetir en qué casos le vamos a poner la S al verbo? Ah, okay. Listen, we have three structures, right? Affirmative, 
negative and question. En inglés tenemos tres tipos de oraciones principales. Hay, hay, hay cinco en total, pero las principales solo son tres. Affirmative, negative and question, right? Affirmative, negative and question. And you're going to see that in everything. Listen, eso lo va a ver en todas las estructuras, en el verbo to be, en el presente, en el futuro, en el presente continuo, en el, el going to, en el, el will, el, all the structure, right? En todas las estructuras siempre va a haber affirmative, negative, and question, right? Good. Now, those in the simple present, hablando del presente simple, right? We have affirmative, negative, and question. So in affirmative, we are going to use the S in third person singular, right? Siempre que usemos una oración en presente simple afirmativo con tercera persona, he, she, and it, le vamos a agregar S. Ejemplo, she lives in Metapan. He likes pizza. Okay? So I add the S. ¿Por qué le agregué la S? Porque estamos hablando de he, she, and it y estamos hablando de presente simple. Simple present, right? Ok. Entonces le vamos a agregar S. Pero si usamos el negativo, podemos decir, vamos a hacer una cosa aquí mejor. Uh, vamos a escribirlo para que quede bien clarito. Ok. Ok. Ok, afirmate, right? Para que no quede bien claro. Afirmate. He likes pizza. Right? Eh, she lives in San Miguel. Ok, in this case, in affirmative, we add the S, right? The S, lives, likes. Now, in negative, negative, he does not, or doesn't, with contraction, like pizza. She doesn't live in San Michael, right? Okay, now, notice doesn't. I am using the auxiliary here, right? For that reason, like does not have the S, right? Por lo tanto, no le vamos a agregar la S al verbo. Okay? Live, we don't say she doesn't live. She doesn't leave. ¿Ok? Conclusión. En afirmativo sí le agregamos la S y en negativo no le agregamos la S. ¿Ok? Cuando es he, she, and it, right? En los otros da igual. Siempre se escribe igual. They live, we live, we don't live, etcétera, etcétera. Ahí no hay. Siempre estamos hablando de tercera persona singular. ¿Ok? Now, in question. 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 Does, does he like pizza? Does she live in San Michael City? Okay. Does he like pizza? Does she live? Again, I don't use the S, right? Nuevamente, no estoy usando la S. Aquí no la uso, right? Ni aquí tampoco. Why? Because I'm using the auxiliary, right? So, conclusion, right? Uh, solo vamos a ponerle la S cuando es tercera persona singular, he, she, and, and it. Cuando la oración es en afirmativo, right? Y cuando sea en presente simple. Cuando se cumplan esas tres condiciones, le vamos a agregar la S. Cuando es negativo, cuando es pregunta, no. O si estamos hablando del pasado, el futuro y cualquier otra estructura, no. Solo en el presente simple, afirmativo, tercera persona. ¿Ok? So, understand? Luis, do you understand? 
Yes, yes, yes teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now let's continue. Let me see uh, por donde nos quedamos. Yes, here, right? Okay, good. Now that we know the difference between yes, no question, and information question, ahora que ya sabemos eh, la auxiliar, la diferencia entre ambos, y cuál es la estructura, pues, let's go to a practice, right? Practice, yes, no question. Okay, now, I need you copy on a uh, notebook, please. I need to copy this. Copy, please. Copy. We're going to practice. Copy, copy, copy. Later, we're going to work in group, right? Después de esto, nos vamos a dividir en grupo y vamos a trabajar juntos. Okay, now let's continue. Godofredo, welcome Godofredo. No había estado en la clase anterior, ¿verdad Godofredo? Hello. Hello, la clase anterior no había estado, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, estuve solamente que entré como 15 minutos anterior. Ah, ok, no problem, no problem. Ok, welcome. Sí. Ok, finish. Ready? Second, please. Ok. Yes. Continue, 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 no problem. Continue. Hello, Alfredo. Estoy viendo un estudiante nuevo. Alfredo López. Welcome, Alfredo. No había estado anteriormente en la clase con nosotros, ¿verdad, Alfredo? Hello. Parece que no le está funcionando el micrófono, Alfredo. Bueno. De cualquier forma, bienvenido, Alfredo, al grupo. Welcome. Cualquier cosa me puede escribir mensajes si no le funciona el, el micrófono. Ok. Ok, let's continue. Finish. Everybody? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ok, good. Now let's continue with the next one. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Por aquí. 
Ah, permítanme. Ah, aquí tengo un mensaje. Ah, ok. Ya me escribió aquí el Fredo. Welcome, welcome. Y así me acecan, por aquí hay un errorcito. Y me acecan. Solo quiero corregir algo acá. Hay un errorcito en la presentación. Ok. Ahora sí vamos a compartir. Ok, now. Just give me a second. Okay. Ahí estamos con las preguntas. Okay, now, information question. O WH question, right? Please copy. Copy. En lo que terminan de copiar, déjenme darle unos comerciales. Eh, como se dieron cuenta, ya iniciamos la sección 4, ¿verdad? Sección 4. Vamos ya a mitad del curso, a terminar entre dos semanas. Eh, siempre es necesario que usted, antes de la clase, termine los, los puntos que estamos viendo. Hoy eh, vamos a cubrir del 4.0 al 4.3. ¿Ok? Así es que es necesario que vayan completando la plataforma para llegar al 80%. Cualquier cosa, ahí están sus órdenes en el grupo, ¿verdad? Pueden hacer las preguntas que quieran, inclusive aquí en la clase. Si hay un ejercicio que no entiendan, están sus órdenes, ¿okay? Hoy vamos a ver dos videos. Quiero escuchar sus comentarios. Y... Uh, los vamos a, van a escribir después del video y mañana los leemos toditos, ¿ok? Good, now ready? Finish? I get ready. Okie dokie, now. Let's see. Now. We're going to make the group, right? Let me see here. Okay, we're going to have. Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. We're going to make four groups. Okay. So group number one, Alfredo Lopez, Cristina Matias, Josabeth, Silvia Hernández, right? Adi, Dinora, Godofredo, Mauricio, group number two. Group number three, Larisa, Marvin, Castro, Mauricio Pérez, and Rocío. Group number four, Jennifer Trejo, Luis Canales, Marvin Lue, and Veronica López, okay? What are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer en grupo? We're going to complete the yes, no questions and the information questions, okay? Please, let's do it.
como a él no, a él no le gusta, porque yo le puse, does he like to drink uh -huh. coffee? My brother drink tea. Uh -huh. Ajá, no yes. sé. He likes, sí. No. A mí me faltó like. <ríe> ¿Y Cristina, cómo le habías puesto tú? Does your brother drink coffee? Oh, ah, también puede. Yes, brother. Ajá, Ajá creo que, que no es solo brother. cerrada una posibilidad. Ajá, yo digo que también puede ir. Does uh -huh. your brother drink coffee? Teacher, ¿cómo es? Okay. Uh, <ríe> puede okay, ir a bien. <ríe> Déjeme ver la pantalla, pues. Estamos en las 10, no es puede. Es que la... Sí, las tres la hicimos diferente. Ah, sí. no. Tiene que ser, by aquí dice, my brother drinks tea. Entonces estamos hablando de my brother en la 1. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y en la 2, uh -huh. no we don't, dice we. Estamos hablando de nosotros. Entonces la pregunta es con you. ¿Verdad? Gotcha. Con you en la 2. Y children. ¿Qué se hace con los niños, verdad? O se educan o se tienen. Ajá. O sea, aquí Do you have any have. children? Mm, no le voy a decir que sí, pero no anda perdida. <ríe> y aquí está parents, my parents. ¿eh? Y aquí my son, mi hijo. Entonces, la pregunta debe llevar mi hijo. ¿Sí? Mm, o, o en este ah, caso, okay. tu hijo, tu hijo. Porque yo respondo con my son, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, teacher. Pues sí. Okay, síganme. Voy a ir a otra sala entonces. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, entonces creo que era das. Live in San Salvador. Así. Are you parents? Ajá, puede ser. Are you parents? Live in San Salvador. Are you? ¿Cómo es? Are they? Are they live in San Salvador? Creo que es. Hello. Eh, recuérdense okay. que estamos usando el auxiliar do and that, right? Entonces ah, sería okay. do you. Do your parents, entonces. Do your parents. Ajá, uh -huh, correcto. Do, in do your parents live in San Salvador. Ok. Ok. El siguiente. Does he English. No, that is. Está hablando de my son, ¿verdad? De mi hijo. Yes. ¿No? Entonces, si alguien quiere preguntarle a ustedes sobre su hijo, ¿cómo le dicen? My son o your son. Your son. Ah, your son. Correct. Thank you, thank you. That, that's it. Estamos trabajando bien. Lo voy a dejar un ratito entonces. Ok. Pero sería But do you do your, No sería do you Do you um, parents your, Do you parents uh -huh. Ah, sí, porque es tus, cierto Do you parents, parents. Y no sería yours Ajá, uh -huh. do you parents Live ah. in uh -huh. Live In San Salvador No, my, my parents Live in San Miguel eh, una, una pregunta es you o your your your, your parents uh, uh, do your uh, parents. Do your, do entonces, your parents live? excuse me teacher entonces ah. es yours no your sin la your your, your parents uh, your parents your do your parents ah uh. ah entonces es plural como plural sí porque parents son papá y mamá son sí dos. sí sí no pero entonces no podría ser do you parents Ajá, yes. live in San do you parents live do, in San Salvador? Do, listen, listen. Do your 
Ah, Mare. ok, ok. Entonces, en in the, in the second, es eh, el eh, same. Eh, sería, do you, do you have children? Entonces, el teacher, es que tenemos esa duda. Porque le está preguntando, o sea, en la segunda pregunta sería, do, o sea, nosotros lo dijimos que, do you have children? Entonces, entonces dice uno de ellos, no, we don't have any yet. Entonces, nosotros estábamos diciendo, do you, o sea, por ejemplo, como que yo le preguntara a usted y su esposa, do you have children? Entonces, usted me puede contestar o su esposa me puede contestar. Correcto, do you? Ajá, do you children? sería. Sí, correcto, estamos bien. Ajá. Do you have children? Do you have children? Ajá. No. Ajá. Entonces, pero en la tercera, ¿por qué, eh, ¿por qué dice? Do your parents. Your parents. Es que vaya, el sujeto es your parents. Como que usted diga. plural. Ajá, ajá, yo sé. Ajá. Do your parents. Vaya, sustituyámoslo por they. En lugar de decir your parents, digamos they. Do they live? ¿Sí? En lugar de decir your parents, póngale they. Do they live in San Salvador? Ahora sí entiende. Your parents es un they, son ellos. Today. Tus papás. Ah, today parents live in... Ah, ok, yeah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Today they parents... Live... Hay dos opciones, póngale. Do your parents... Ah, live in... Today, uh -huh. yes, 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 yes. Ok. Tus papás... Do they live in San Salvador? Ajá, correcto. Pero... O podría ser, do your parents live in San Salvador? Excelente. O sea, ah, ok, ok. Ok, okay. Pero, Thank la you. Están trabajando bien aquí. Hello, hello, ¿cómo vamos? Sí, aquí. <risa> Teacher, una pregunta ¿Tiene? con la segunda parte. Segunda parte de information, ajá, dígame. Porque no, sí, sí, porque no le llevamos mucho sentido. Por ejemplo, en la mm. primera, se nos da your father y en la, en el, en la, en la, en el literal es your father. En la segunda, he is a doctor. Y Ajá, yo correcto, pensé, vaya. what do your father do? Pero, pero no, pues, permítame un segundito. Está bien, solo que no es tú, es da, porque your father es un he. Ah, that's your father. Ah, okay. What does your father? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Do. 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 What, what does your father do? What? Does your father do? Y la respuesta es, he's a doctor. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál sería la segunda? In Santa Ana. Ajá, uh -huh. where? Where does your no, brother? No, 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 no. Where brother. does? Brothers. Where? Where do? Ajá. Uh -huh. Where do your brothers? Okay. Right, right? Ok. Good, that's it. Estamos tra trabajando bien. Un minuto y nos reunimos todos, ¿ok? Ok. Mire, mire, la tercera. Ajá, ok. <laughs> la tercera, la tercera. Every weekend. Parents dice, I visit them every Wait, weekend. Es, es every, every weekend. Es every How weekend. often do you... O tal vez when. Todos los fines de semana. When? Mm. Como la when do you receive your uh -huh. parents? Excellent. When do you receive your parents? Perfect. <laughs> ok, la, la cuatro se la tengo a ustedes. Son when do Ok. Dentro de un minuto when, vemos uh, en la... ¿Cuándo?
Ok, welcome. No logramos terminar la segunda don't parte. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to do it together, right? Number one, volunteers, number one, please. Number one, volunteers. Yes, no question. Yes, no question. Number one, volunteers, please. Me. Yes, Hi, teacher. Abby, Abby, teacher. Abby, Abby. 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 And is does he drink coffee? No, does, does he doesn't. Uh -huh. Does your brother? Does your brother? Does your brother drink coffee? Excellent, right? He is studying. Abby is studying today. He, pero para ser más específico, does your brother, right? Number okay. Two. Dinora, number two, Dinora. Okay, este. Do we have children? Do you, do you, do you. Okay, do you have children? No, we don't, right? Okay. Cuando le preguntan ustedes, nosotros contestamos nosotros. ¿Tienen ustedes hijos? No, okay. nosotros, okay. Number three, volunteers number three, say your name, please. Dime su nombre, number three. Number three. Me, Larissa. Larissa, please. Okay. Today, uh, today, like, live in San Salvador. Okay. No, my parents, today. Mm -hmm. Correct. Today, Excellent. live in San Salvador. No, my parents live in San Miguel. Excellent. Do they live or do your parents or live? Do, right? parents, uh, do your Thank parents you. live? Uh -huh. Good. Thank you, Larissa. Number four. Okay. Number four. Number four, please. Silvia. Silvia, please. Does your song speak English? Excellent. Speak, right? Listen. Escucharon bien, verdad? Speak. Ella dijo speak. No es speaks. No es así, sino que es speak. Thank you. Now, let's continue with the next one, right? Uh, let me make this bigger, right? Lo vamos a hacer más grande para que se note. Okay, now. Number one, your father, right? He is a doctor. Cuando decimos doctor es una ocupación. Entonces vamos a usar what, right? Volunteers, number one, please. Volunteers. Marvin. Marvin, please. What does your father do? Excellent. He is a doctor. Perfect, Marvin. What does your father do, right? Thank you. Number two. Number two. Volunteers, number two. Jennifer. Jennifer, where please. Is your brother lives. Excellent. Where do do your brothers live, right? Where do your brothers live? Thank you. Thank you very much. Number three. Number three. Volunteers. Silvia. Silvia, please. When do you visit your parents? Excellent. Very good. Number four to finish. Number four. Volunteers number Christina. Four. Christina, please. Where does your sister live? Excellent. Listen, Christina say live. Okay, remember, it's not lives, no, it's live. Where does your sister live? Thank you very much. Now let's go to the video. We don't alcance the time to ver un video y terminamos la clase, okay? Let me see. Okay. One, two, three. This one. The audio. Share, right? Do you like rap conversation, right? I really like pop music, right? Now, let's watch the video. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what lesson participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? 
No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box. Okay. Now notice the question, right? Uh, does he play the piano? Do you like rap? What kind of music do you like? So these are examples of, of uh, yes, no question in simple present, right? Okay, now let's watch the other video. Give me a second here. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, here, right? We need more information when answering. To be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Okay. Now, notice here the difference between yes, no question, and information question, right? Yes, no question, and information. Notice the answer is the difference, right? La diferencia la respuesta. In one we say yes or no, and the other one we give specific information. Y para terminar, eh, usamos object pronouns cuando alguien recibe la acción, right? Let me give you one example, right? When I say, I like it. I like it. En lugar de decir, I like rap, sustitute your rap for el, el object pronoun it. I like it. El sujeto es I, yo, el verbo es like, y el objeto, en este caso el object pronoun, si lo alcanzo a ver acá, it, I like it very much, right? I, they love them. En lugar de decir, they love the Beatles, they love the Beatles, usamos they love them. Para no estar repitiendo the Beatles, the Beatles, the Beatles, they love them. Estamos usando el object pronoun them. El sujeto es they, la acción es love, y el objeto es them, right? Y en la segunda oración igual, I don't like them very much. So that's it, right? Uh, any extra question? ¿Alguna pregunta extra antes de terminar? Ladies and gentlemen, any question? No, teacher. No, okay. So thank, thank you very much. You, thank you. You're welcome. Tomorrow we're going to uh, review the videos, right? And I need you to make commentaries. Please me hacen comentarios en los videos. Por ejemplos de preguntas de sí, no, y ejemplos de, de preguntas de información. Okay? Bye bye. Have a good night. Estoy bien con los angelitos. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.